postponed for ages, but apparently Jubilee Party is to be launched next month. We do know that uh, it has faced uh, kick-starting, what I'd call like kick-starting events, where we almost think it's going to be launched and then mm -hmm. something comes up and they postpone it. But apparently, mm -hmm. it is official now that it's going to be launched next month. But still, I think it will be too soon to cock the champagne mm -hmm. uh, because you are aware that the, the tug of war is the issue of do we dissolve our affiliate parties? Right. Of do we retain them? Mm -hmm. Because once those parties are dissolved and you have one mother party which is called Jubilee Party, some of the politicians will think then they will lose the political clout. Mm -hmm. You know, they will lose the political clout. For example, being that URP, it has its members of parliament. Right. And when issues come to the floor of the house, they normally have that clout as Rift Valley. Mm. So that is the major concern. And that's why you even see rebels like Isaac Ruto, right. uh, people like uh, the governor, Peter Munya. Mm. They're very much resistant to this thing of let us dissolve our parties. Then they will ask, what is our fallback? What right. will we do in case we in are cornered? Case, in case we are untwisted, yeah. what do you do? Because then yes. you have no uh, power to yeah. say anything. Uh, You're absorbed within yes. the party. Yes, and then there is uh, the issue of the nominations. Mm. Nominations have always been very controversial because most of the times the certificate normally does not go to the person who necessarily wins mm. in the grassroots elections. Right. So they're also afraid that should I be denied Mm. nominations, mm. certificates. I have no bargaining power. I have no bargaining power and I have dissolved my party. Right. So it remains to be seen how it's going to play well, out. Well, let's wait and see what happens because there's also the other school of thought that says mm -hmm. that is almost a blow to democracy. Yes. Because again, at the, at the end of the day, uh, democracy is about uh, coming together despite mm -hmm. the fact that you have divergent views. Exactly. But now when you're absorbed and amalgamated to one mm -hmm. party, mm -hmm. then that uh, sort of leaves you um, without any power to say anything. Really. Certainly. So the argument has been that uh, most of the advantage democracies uh, like, like the US like the UK like Germany they have two leading parties mm. yeah but you know these are democracies which have matured over time 200 years counting so Kenya is still a young democracy we are only about uh, into three decades mm -hmm. after multi-party mm -hmm. elections so democracy evolves and it takes time yeah and it, it will be very interesting to see how it turns out